Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to part 66 of our EA Sports WRC Let's Play. Yesterday we returned with the finale of our Rally 1 career mode. Yes, well the finale of this season. I probably should preface that with. We return today to Forum 8 Rally Japan and it is all to play for here. Just one point separates myself, my teammate and Danny Sordo in the championship. There's a three-way scrap at the top of the table as well. Seb OGA, Thierry Neuville and Oit Tanak all gunning for the crown as we finish the season this weekend. Of course, I'm personally hoping still we can try and achieve 100 championship points by the end of the year because we still don't really know uh, as to whether we are going to have a seat next season guaranteed kind of in the rally one class also i'm a little bit nervous about takamoto katsuta this weekend home rally for him he'll be looking to try and get a big result as well so maybe he is not out of the championship fight with a handful of others of us as well it has been such a topsy-turvy season but it has been a huge amount of fun and i feel like i've learned a lot about the rally one car of course if you are new around here or you aren't already, please do also make sure you subscribe to the channel as well uh, for daily EA Sports WRC content. But yeah, for one final time this season then, let's head here to Forum 8 Rally Japan. I am hoping this isn't going to be my last rally for a period in the Rally 1 cars. Quickly though, before we get into that, I want to thank today's video sponsor, Fanatec. Yes, I have used Fanatec gear now for many, many years and they still are a dominant force in the sim racing space. If you're racing on Xbox or PC, nothing really comes close and their PC offerings are still absolutely brilliant. If you're interested in ever shopping for any Fanatec products, it would be greatly appreciated if you would use my link down in the description below. At no additional cost to yourself, you massively help support the channel. And yeah, I just want to say thank you for Fanatec for their continued support. Hello, I'm Molly Pettit, and welcome to the final round of the FIA World Rally Championship. We are here at the Forum 8 Rally Japan, a high-speed run that twists through the mountains and turns through the farmland and villages of this stunning country. If we have a quick glance at the conditions for the event now, it looks like we should be in for clear skies throughout, which should make for a fast and fun rally for both the drivers and the spectators. A quick look at the standings as the drivers make their final preparations to get underway. Let's see who we currently have in the top three championship spots. They are Ogier, Neville and Tanak. It's sure to be an exciting event here and who knows what the standings will look like at the end of some thrilling action. Well, yeah, our final opportunity to try and get a win of the season. We've had plenty of ups, plenty of downs over the course of this championship. But when you look back, the fact that in what in the last six rallies we haven't scored points twice, I think is pretty good going there. In the last seven rallies, we've failed to score points on two occasions. So we've actually pretty consistently, uh, you know, after the first three, I've been pretty much in the running here. And it has been a fantastic learning experience as well. Now, we've got uh, a medium-length one, a long one, and another medium uh, before two short stages to finish us off here. So this is going to be very, very interesting as to how we kind of manage this event. Of course, I've still got playing in the back of my mind uh, the uh, the F2 kit car rally we did here last week uh, that was an absolute disaster. Uh, it is sunny skies all throughout, which is always reassuring as well. Um, but boy, oh boy, today, I would love to get a big result for the team. Finish the season on a high. Like I said, aiming to try and score over 100 points. Uh, so we would need, I believe, a podium for that. Or several power stage points. But yeah, obviously, we'll rock the car into shape game. Just make sure everything is working as it should be. And we do know pretty much every stage here, I believe. Uh, in 4 8 Rally Japan. So there's an arm code there. I've got to be more careful of that. Um, but yeah, this first one then, I believe, is the horrible one early on. Right at the end of the shakedown, we have got all of the horrible corners. So we're going to have to try and make sure we keep it clean and tidy. My goal today is to learn from uh, the Central European Rally yesterday and just try and focus on keeping it a little bit clean and tidier. Uh, over the course of the opening couple of stages, kind of ramp up into the rhythm rather than worrying about trying to go immediately fastest of everybody. As, yeah, these corners do require a little bit of a blend out of the final corner. Whoa! <laughs> um, that's, that's one way to finish down the shakedown run, but we will take it then 
48 seconds there. It's a very, very fast shakedown here in Rally Japan. It doesn't give you much time to kind of make sure the car is all good. Uh, tires, I forgot to check those as well. Softs and mediums, so we'll probably use the mediums uh, through stage three. Let's do this thing then. One final time this season. Well, the opening stage of the rally, and I'm sure this pair will be looking to find some good pace right from the start. So let's see how they get on. Elvin Evans, fastest of anyone so far. That's nice to see for him. He'll be looking, like I said, to try and finish the year. I believe he has won the Forum 8 Rally Japan before, but I could be wrong. Um, so, yeah, this is clearly a happy hunting ground for him. But, of course, all eyes are on the top three, who I'm sure none of them want to make a mistake. Yeah, those top three, I mean, if you're a Seb Ogier, how do you play this? Do you push hard? And try and make them have to do all the work to catch you up? Or do you just play it a little bit safer um, and wait and see whether Thierry Neuville or Tanet make a bit of a mistake? To be fair, Seb Ogier has lacked a bit of pace in the last couple of rallies. We were saying just a couple of rounds ago how it was a matter of win rather than if. And suddenly, we come to 4 8 Rally Japan and it looks a little bit more wide open than any of us had expected. Prior to these last couple of rounds, however, if Elvin Evans is so fast, that might be a little bit of a pain for the likes of Neuville and Tanak. Just clip the inside arm over. Don't hit that one, though. That could be really bad. Half second up immediately. As Ojige, quicker than all his rivals. I Robin Pera up in the mix as well. Is that a quiet campaign this year? I thought he'd be fighting at the top, but yeah, has struggled. Hasn't run a part-time campaign like he's doing IRL in 2024. Just hasn't really had the ultimate pace reliably. Has often made a few mistakes as well. Yeah, this first stage, though, we do know. I mean, I think we know every single one on this rally, don't we? Hoping next season, of course, we can try and score points in even more events. And, of course, try and score bigger points as well uh, in a few rallies over the course of the campaign. Um, you know, there's a couple where still I think we're always going to struggle. You know, your Mexico's probably one of the best examples of that. Um, but, you know, Monte Carlo, we should hopefully try and score some good points there. And a couple of the other events as well where we missed out this year through some mistakes. A little bit down there by the end of split two. Uh, but yeah, that first split we are very good at. And it is very high speed. There's a lot of twisting up and down the mountains on this first stage. So we just want to make sure we're there. Avoid the errors. So I'd much rather be a second and a half down than potentially flying off the side of a hill. I wish we had the tunnels saved on this game, though. Because that is really cool here in Rally Japan. This corner is horrible. Because it really tightens up on the exit. Luckily we keep it tidy there. We're almost at the top of the hill then. Say, that's been one of the biggest learning experiences in this car. It's been about how much downforce they have. The Rally 1 cars, that is the big difference most of the time between these uh, and the WRC 2 spec machinery. It's just, yeah, when you get those moments where you're on a fast bit of road and they just grip up in a way that the WRC 2 cars might just struggle with some understeer. That's certainly been weird to adapt to and of course has meant that, well, in the 2 2 Rally League, I've struggled to adjust the other way. So I think we've only had one terminal damage all season, didn't we, back at Rally Greece, which I'm still annoyed about, because we probably should have been, you know, fighting for the lower end of points. But I think that's going to be the thing next season, if we are in that championship fight. It's going to be about, even on your bad rallies, you know, picking up a few points here and there, um, and of course then trying to win, you know, Croatia. That's surely got to be one next season we target a win at. Should have won it last, this season, but just made a couple too many mistakes. So yeah, that'll certainly be one where we go in next year with a lot of confidence behind us. Ow. 
Yeah, still just dropping back a little bit then in each split at the moment. So we've got to be running a little bit quicker where possible. But, yeah, again, want to try and get through these first couple of stages and know we are there or thereabouts. And of course, you know, as long as we're beating, you know, your Sordos, your Hoffmans, uh, and maybe your Lappies, I'd still like to finish top half of the championship. I think that's been Hoffman's problem this year as well. He's actually been quite consistent. Um, but he just hasn't... When most of the AI seem to have one really good rally, uh, Hoffman just doesn't for some reason. Because I don't think he, the, I don't think they'd want to give the AI, you know, a non-real person kind of a rally that they're dominant at. Would be my guess. A bit like Sidereidus. Yeah, this first stage, though, is one of the longer ones of this event. Quite stage two, uh, which is kind of split over a fast bit and then a very, very slow kind of horrible second part of the rally. Well, it might be the first. I don't know which way we're going. I believe it's second. Um, but yeah, this one is kind of just about threading the needle a lot. Uh, but I believe we do get some horrible corners towards the end of this first stage. That we've got to be careful of. Don't cut into crest. Feel like we are three also trying to be really, really, really careful that I don't scrub the tyres. Right. Like that. That's the horrible corner I meant. And I completely forgot about it. Just take way too much speed on the way in. And that's a penalty as well. Lovely. Right, so we're definitely going to be down a bit of time then. 20 seconds? Okay. That's a bit horrible. We're still quicker than Sordo, though, somehow. But that's what I mean here. It's so difficult to kind of come back from that. I don't think we picked up any well, much damage, though. So remember, you got these couple of hairpins right towards the end. I remember to get it into second gear sooner on the exits. Yeah, that one corner still, for whatever reason, catches me out. I've got to be better with that. Well, let's see if we can be a little bit quicker in these final couple of splits, though. Go into the next couple of stages with a bit of confidence underneath me. There is still a lot of rally to try and close back in. Ooh. Well, I'm happy that fence is solid because you'd think you'd just go straight through that looking at it. 22 seconds back. Go, 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 go. Does open up between now and until the end, I believe. Lead already across the line. So the clock is now just ticking. Come on, use that hybrid. Five left, half long, 400. Whoa, very wide on the exit of the final corner, but down towards the line. I think we didn't do too badly there right at the end. 24 seconds back. I always miss the breaking point after the finish there, but luckily we won't hit anything uh, that time round then. So 7.52, not my best run ever. You can see we're a little bit slower, slower than Hoffman as well. Um, and Katsuta, yeah, he isn't the running today. Um, right towards the top, but I don't think he's got explosive pace. We just want to see if we're quicker than Robin Perra and Katsuta over the next couple of stages to really work out if we're in the fight with them. Uh, Lappy and, well, Neuville, he's in big problems. Um, all the way down in P14, then slower than Sideridis. Wait, Tanak, close to Seb Ogier, but not close enough. Right, but yeah, this is the behemoth stage then. Nearly 12 minutes for Elvin Evans. Um, very, very fast for the first half, but a couple of horrible corners. Uh, and then very, very slow throughout the second half. A lot of tight, narrow roads. Let's just see what we can do, though, early on. Like I said, if we can go quicker than Robin Perra and Katsuta, then I'll be quite happy to try and maybe get ourselves back up into that fight for P2. That would be good. Because we're not that much slower than Elvin Evans. Or at least I hope we're not. Um, but we've got to keep it tidy as well. Especially on these fast bits early on, where we should be quick. A 
was a little bit off the start, just because this first split has quite high average speed. Now it's about trying to keep it tidy. One of, if not the scariest piece of road on this game. Good through that. That corner's horrible. Leave my fifth here, though. Not there, though. This corner is really does kind of sneak up on you a little bit. Two seconds back, though. That's a shame. That's how much commitment you need in the top class. Because if you don't do it, someone else will. So careful as well not to lock at the brakes. Yeah, the time can be won and lost so quickly around here. Oh, that corner I hate. Yeah, that corner I always crash on for some reason. Get go go nice and quickly. Don't know why. It just is not a four in my head. Always run wide there. You think you learn from your mistakes, but when you've got to try and remember, it's probably well over a thousand kilometers of road on this game. I'm bound to forget. Apparently, quite a lot of it. Keep it out of the wall. That's the one you can't cut because of the wall on the inside. Come on. Well, that's not the end of the world, actually, when you consider the mistake we made. But we've got to be better than this. It'd be nice if we had some green sectors under our belt. So the way the road goes wider and narrow again. This gives you no kind of confidence to attack. That won't help either. Right of the crest, 30, two left, extra long, opens, pass junction, 40. Five right, opens long, break, and one left, tightens, and one right short, into six left, break. And square right, and one left, long, Ooh. 30. Ow. Two right, tightens, 50. Oh, I thought we were running wide then. Try to avoid the oversteer. Like that, apparently. Come on. It's a really easy way of throwing away a couple of seconds that you just know the AI won't do. Oh, this corner as well. How have we lost another six seconds through there? What is going on? I feel like I'm giving it pretty much all this got, but it's just not working for me. Go, 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 go. We know we've got a fast bit. Oh. Yeah, of course. Seems about right. That could have been worse, to be fair. Come on, make your mind up on it. There we go, thank you. I always seem to lose my bonnet on this stage, but that's not the end of the world. Broke way too early into there, though. And still almost overshot it. 
second half of this stage, though, is very difficult as well. Going to be a lot of second or third gear just holding it there. Is horrible. It is flat, but only just. And there's a rock on the inside here. 20 seconds! How is this happening? Don't spin, don't spin, don't spin. Yes, gripped up beautifully there. That's what we need more of. That's not. Right, well, we've got to push up the other side of the hill. It looks like that gap comes down loads, but it won't. Let's go. That's not what I meant. So this is probably going to be a lot of third gear around here. But we've got to remember there's that horrible corner right towards the end of it. Or there, apparently. That's not the end of the world. Gathered it up. I really want to try and leave it in third through all of this, though. But we might feel a little bit trapped between second and third gear. Here, the turbo not spooled. This is painful. I know I can go quicker. Oh, yeah. That's painful. Don't say I've lost empowered it. Oh, go. Go. I find the gearbox as well could be so unresponsive at times. 38 seconds back. We're still quicker than Thierry Neuville, somehow. But... So there's little mistakes. They cost us here in WRC2 as well. I know we're quick as well through the final few stages. I go off on that horrible two as well now. I'm going to be so annoyed with myself. Come on, I just feel so slow at the moment. So slow. And I know I'm waiting for a corner. As soon as I forget about it, that way when it shows up. As well, the gaps are like we're closing in, but I know we're not. Square right, long, two left short, don't cut, thirty. Three right. Oh, I did not need the hybrid there. See, look at that. You think you've taken some time out of them, but it just hasn't happened. Whoa. Great, great. That one out. Water temps now high. We're almost at the end of the stage, so it's not the end of the world. It's that corner. It's that corner. I think. Why am I in fourth gear? What is going on? Or is it that one? No. I think we've navigated the horrible corner. But I don't want to believe yet. That was close. Come on. Fifty. 
just feels like such a difficult rally to get the most out of. I mean, they all do, but I think I feel so confident on the tarmac rallies now, but still they come back to haunt me. Oh, that's the corner. Of course. Of course. Don't say we're wedged. How? How do you manage to do that? I knew that wasn't the corner earlier on. Every time. Just two corners on this rally that are lethal every single time. A minute back now, it seems about right. 30 seconds behind Sordo. Certainly Newville is having more of a disaster than I am. This might end up being one of those rallies where we just got to look for a bit of redemption in the Wolf Power stage. the other problem you get as well in these four-wheel drive cars is you get one wheel on the grass and they just try and spin on you. And you feel like, in a real-world rally car, are they going to do that? I don't know. Obviously, it wasn't such a problem in the front-wheel drives, because of course, it would just pull you along, but still can feel very unrewarding on occasions. Having I mean, right said though, I still never, left. never right. feel at the end of one of these that I don't want to play this game left anymore. It's just so fun right. when you get hooked up. To it's addictive. So heartbreaking when you don't. I'll the line though. Okay. 1301, a minute 15 back in the end. As we pretty much reach VMAX there in the car. Yeah, we lost a lot. We lost too much on that stage. In a very tricky stage there. Unfortunately, though, it's not enough, and this pairing have dropped in the current standings. Oh, look at that. We almost lost a minute to our teammate Hoffman there, but Lappy having a disaster as well. So this actually gives myself, Hoffman, and Sordo an opportunity to get closer to him. Katsuta, though, is running really, really well here, so I don't want to lose out on a championship place to him. We are a second away from a point... Surely we can try and get back to Sordo by the end of this rally. Surely. Well, no penalties taken then on that last run, but now we are into the Habu Dam stage, which we have done maybe more than any other on this game. This is a big one for us. We have got to get a good result. It's also got to be... I don't know if we've driven this thing more than we did the WRC2 car by now, um, but we've almost done 700 kilometers in this car this season. Which I think is pretty mental as well. But yeah, this is a stage we know at the back of my hand. So hopefully we are going to be competitive on it. But we've only got three shorter stages between now and the end. So damage limitation is going to be critical. Trying to keep it clean and tidy where possible. Let's use that hybrid on the exit here. Wonderful. Carry me along, please. But we'll also be careful of a corner coming up because we binned it there in the F2 kick car. We not need a repeat of that here as that's what we want to see. There we go, that was good. Really careful not to lock up as you make your way back into the woods. Nice four wheel drift on the tarmac. Left. 
It's a six right, don't cut. It's a two left short, it's a slight right, and a three left short, it's a four right, opens. 30, late, one right. 30, one left, 30, late, one right, 40. Late, one left, half long, 50. Three right, keep in, 40, late, one left, 100. I'm not too worried about beating Elvin Evans on these stages. I'm just interested in taking time out of the cars we need to be beating. But it does also need to be a lot of time out of them. So if we can hang close to Evans, that'll be really handy. It's Seb Ozier at the moment showing us all why he's won so many WRC championships. When all the pressure is on his shoulders, he is the one still delivering here. Now we've accepted we can't go quicker than Elvin Evans. We might actually be driving a little bit better here because we're not trying to overdrive the car as much. That being said, though, this perhaps is what we need to do a bit more next season. Don't worry about the times. Just worry about what we're doing, as I always forget that corner. Get through the trees, thank you. Get back on. It's okay, not the end of the world. stage could be incredibly pivotal here by the end of this rally. The one that worries me the most is Katsuta, who I think having the home advantage in the final round of the season might prove very handy. Let's go, 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 go. We know there's a fast bit of road. After these few corners though, because these ones are horrible. That's why. Well, that could have been a whole lot worse. Crest, 30, three left, you hit one of those posts, you're in big trouble. Left, keep in, 40, 35 right, a crest, 230. Four left of a crest, opens, 190. Go, 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 go. Six crest, 60, five right, it's straight isn't as long as it used 50, to feel, but I think that's because we're going a lot quicker. Line again. Very long. Up towards the finish line finish. though. Annoyed go. again. There's just a bit more okay. time we could be having. But that was not a bad little recovery towards the end of that one. Uh, 5.50.5 in the end. Nice so where's that going to leave us? Ninth. Well, Thierry Neuville then, showcasing when he hasn't got issues in the car, what kind of pace he can set. Um, but yeah, we've taken time out some of the guys we needed to be quicker than. Danny Sordo, probably the most noticeable of those. So taking a look then, we're still 10th overall. We are 5 seconds behind Pierre Loubet, 20 seconds behind Danny Sordo. Uh, so we just need to be rapid on these final couple. If we could finish 8th here 
and get five wolf power stage points. We might just be able to do some damage limitation against the likes of Hoffman. Uh, Katsuta, though, still, he's going to be scoring some big points here. Right, come on, then. This is effectively the start of stage one. So this is the bit we were faster through, and we know where we're going. We're on fresh softs. The car's good. We know what to do here, and we need to take 10 seconds of stage at Danny Sordo. However, it is a very, very short stage, so we have to work hard, and we're going to have to be brave. But this is to potentially save our championship hopes. On top of the board, it looks like Seb OG8 is probably going to do enough. Just got to keep it clean and tidy. We know we're quick through this first bit. Hopefully quicker than the AI. It's such a steep uphill climb though. You don't realise it until you go up to fifth gear there and it just struggles to pull. Six left, keep in, and five right, long, 40. Five left, tightens, and four right short, 100. Slight right short. That's what we need. Look at that, 1.4 seconds off on Elvin Evans. We need to be this quick through the final stage as well. You've got to be so just committed on the throttle, on the exit of the corners. You've got to be prepared to just mash it to the floor, get the turbo going, and just go. Deal with whatever you've put yourself in. Or just understeer wide into the next corner, one or the other. This corner's tighter than most. Get on the throttle on the exit. Use the hybrid. Go. That's another horrible one, because it doesn't tell you that was a hairpin for some reason. 1.6 seconds up though. Got on the boost then, so I had to keep the foot to the floor. Got away with it though. We're still up. Five left, keep in eighty. Three right, Titans, forty. One left, it's a two right Ooh. long, Titans, Ow. forty. We'll bounce off that, get away with it a little bit. But of course, we've got to keep the car clean for the wall power stage. Oh, I go completely the wrong way there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't start throwing this away right towards the end. to go quickest on one of these stages around here and this is probably going to be the best shot. Come on, one more corner. Oh, a little bit of understeer there. Elvin Evans is going to have me though. One and a half seconds back in the end. That's what we're capable of though on this rally. That's what we need to be doing more of. But one more stage to go then. I don't think we're going to be able to pick up those Wolf Power stage points. Or at least not the maximum haul. What did we take out of Sordo? Well, that's good then. We're quicker than a few of the guys we needed to be. Sordo in 11th. So we took 15 seconds at him. And I believe we've already jumped Pierre Loubet then with one more to go. These are critical moments towards the end of this rally. We've got five seconds to Sordo. Unless Craig Breen has an absolute disaster, I don't think we're going to get up to him. But come on, we need to bring home some points. If we finish eighth with the power stage points, I mean nine to us. But what worries me is Hoffman, I think, is going to score ten.
Come on then, one final stage of this rally. Thierry Neuville, he's had an absolute disaster, so he is our pace setter, but we need to be quick. I want to try and put a few seconds over Thierry if I can. But yeah, this final stage is a horrible one. The one with the horrible six Titans into one, I believe. So yeah, we've got to be careful for that, because he's got no arm car on the outside. So you go expecting quite a fast corner. And it simply isn't. Um, but yeah, all power stage points. They will be critical, I think, by the end of this. As that is very, very brave through the first couple of corners. Come on. We need to be fast. If we can pick up those five points, that could do us wonders in the championship against the likes of Katsuta and Hoffman. But we just don't know what's going to happen to anyone else. It's a horrible quarter. Don't understeer off. Thank you. Gallop it out. Oh, and we're only a second up. That's good, but it's not good enough. And now, I feel like I've got no idea where I'm going. Remember that first bit? But after that, it all gets a little bit alien. Still need five seconds out of Sordo as well, let's not forget. Otherwise, we're not going to beat him in the championship either. Go, 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 go. Come on, if we can get like five seconds over Newville here, then I feel like we've got a shot. At the moment, it's kind of looking if we can keep level with him. Just feel like I'm overdriving way too much. Go, go, go. Come on, we've got to be quicker than Newville round here. Ooh, steps there. Don't want to go up those. So hard here. Still not the horrible corner. Come on, we're not that far away. Now. Come on, go, 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 go. This is the horrible one. Yeah, almost fell off. Come on, I don't even think there's a fast bit at the end of this stage. Ow. That's quite a big whack. I sure hound I pretty annoyed with me so far this season. I have damaged a lot of cars. I doubt here in your vittle has been the quickest either by the end of this. Go, 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 go. It's not going to be enough. It is not going to be enough. All we can hope for is that we've gone quicker than Sordo. At the final corner, up towards the finish line. 4.14 there. We were four seconds away. Well, that was from Thierry Neuville, who hasn't been a pace setter this rally. That is gutting. Well and truly gutting. We need a handful of seconds over Sordo, but will it be enough? Ask for a better run through this stage than that. This pairing have set a lovely rhythm and it's paying off in spades as they are moving up the standings. Hey? How, how on earth did we manage that? Okay, so apparently the benchmark was still against Elvin Evans. Somehow, Thierry Neuville 
was a few seconds slower than me. So I had no idea about that. So we're going to pick up four wolf power stage points in the end. We were still slower than Elvin Evans, but apparently that's enough for P2 at the end of the ra at the end of the stage there. So four extra points for us. We should be out Sordo as well, but I think we'll have narrowly missed out to both Ro uh, sorry to Katsuta and Hoffman by the end of this rally. Let's go take a look at the final championship results. What is the table saying? Well, taking a look then when all is said and done, two points was the difference between myself. Hoffman and Takamoto Katsuta there. Five points would have put us up with Lappy as well. But we do beat out Sordo in the end. So we finished 10th place to finish off our first ever complete World Rally Championship there. Seb Ogier takes the win. Uh, Oit Tanak beats Thierry Neuville by just two points at the end there. And Elvin Evans, if there was another rally, he would have actually got himself back into championship contention as well there. Cali Rovan Pera in a bit of a lonely P5 ahead of Craig Breen, but gutted to narrowly miss out on a few more points when all is said and done. I don't think those couple of mistakes would have made a world of difference come the end of the rally there. We just need to be a bit more consistent over the entirety of a season as well. But yeah, what does that mean overall as well? In the team's championship, we finished out P4. We beat out the Toyota uh, privateer team, which is good for us, uh, but we couldn't quite beat out M Sport Ford there as Toyota take the championship ahead of Hyundai. Yep, Seb Ogier is going to be your world champion there once again on 199 points. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like, get yourself subscribed. We will be back next season, hopefully once again, in a Rally 1 car as well. So I'm going to take tomorrow off, and yeah, hopefully we're going to fire things back up. Monday, back for Rally Monte Carlo. Looking forward to it. Hopefully, maybe next season can be the season we finally pick up that championship.